Okay, I just want to show you a quick look at the NRF52840 device from Nordic. In, in sleep mode, we'll go system on, full RAM retention, and we'll go for two different wake up events. We'll aim from, for this one for a GPIO event in, in port event mode. And also for the um, for the RTC wake up source, both system on full RAM retention. For this, we'll use the simple code right here. I will link in the video description the exact commit so you can refer to it. And it's basically registering the pin for the button. One important part is right here. To get the low current port event, you need to register the level interrupt and not the edge interrupt, with, which uses a lot more current in the sleep mode. The rest is just to register the callback. And another important part is this dummy loop right here that does nothing basically but sleeps one second in between loops and this will get interpreted by the Zephyr OS and Zephyr will automatically pu put the system in system on sleep mode while it's waiting for one second with the RTC as the wake up source. So let's do this. We will try to match the numbers from the spec. So as you can see, there's system initialization here, and then there's our RTC events. And then for the button, I will press on the button now. You can see the button event, and then you can see more sleep here. So let's see what current we're using. So here we are with RTC, as a wake up source and the GPIO and we can see 3.25 microamps so it's pretty close to here 3.16 and we can verify another one here 3.19 even closer so we can see that we're here definitely and we're using about this much current which is good However, once we're finished here, we go here and here. Oh, sorry about that. Here, it seems that Zephyr keeps the um, RTC as the wake up source, even though we're not using it. It's finished here, the loop, and the function ended. So I'm guessing it could be recognized by Zephyr and it could stop the RTC as the wake up source and give us this much current, 2.36 microamps or thereabout. But you can see it doesn't, as we're still using the current of the RTC wake up source. And same, same here. You can see 3.16. So what we can get from this is that it's really easy to go in sleep with the Zephyr OS. We basically don't have to do anything special, just normal programming and Zephyr will make sure the system goes in proper sleep. This is really nice. However, it seems, at least in my case, that we were not reaching the 2.36 microamp for the port event it seems the RTC as the wake up source is always active. That's it. Thank you.